This next test is going to be for our free chlorine using the FAS DPD. So this is a triation which is a lot easier to use than using our R001 and R002. So we are going to take our large compartmenter tube and fill it up to the 25 mark. Again, we're going to use the bottom of the uh, bubble, the surface tension there, to uh, get to that 25 mark. And so we're using a little dropper out of a sample size of water. Okay, and that gets us up to our 25 mark. Now we're going to take the powder agent, 1870, and we're going to take two scoops out of the circular tip of the uh, handle here, just like that. Dump it in. You can go over on the scoops, but you have to get at least two scoops. So that's not an exact science. And try not to waste this because these are kind of expensive. Absolutely. So don't overdo the two scoops by a whole lot. So now that we've got that in there, we're going to swirl it around and it's going to be nice and pink for us. Okay. So now here's the triation. We're going to take R0871 and we're going to add it drop wise. So you drop one drop at a time and swirl. What we're looking for here is a complete color change. So it's starting to change a little bit lighter, but we want it to be clear. All right, so that looks like clear. We're going to add one more just to make sure. There we go. Oh, That's there we what we're looking for. So, uh, I added 15 drops. So 15 drops. What do we multiply that by? 0.2, 0 0.2. So that is going to equal 3. So that means currently our FCL is at 3.0. Uh, it's easy to remember for every 5 drops, it's one, uh, 1 full ppm of uh, chlorine. This is a lot nicer because it gets us a lot closer. Instead of having to use these color matches to try to guess at what shade we're using, we just look for it to turn this light or clear color and we're good to go. So then... When it comes to using free chlorine, as if you had noticed earlier, it said that it was about five, but this is a lot more accurate way. Um, so we only take total chlorine like we did earlier, and then this is the free chlorine value that we want to use when we're trying to get our combined chlorine value. So when it comes to combined chlorine, we use our total chlorine values, and then we use this method here for our free chlorine values.